Daily Readings for December 13th, St. Lucy, Virgin and Martyr St. Lucy, a native of Syracuse, Sicily, was instructed in the faith by her widowed mother, Euthychia. After her mother's cure at the tomb of St. Agatha, she was allowed to make a vow of virginity and to distribute a great part of her inheritance to the poor. She was denounced by the youth to whom she was unwillingly betrothed, and rather than lose the incorruptible treasure of her virginity, she chose death by the sword in 303. Her name occurs in the canon of the Mass. Our first reading is from the second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 10. I arranged for you to marry Christ. If anyone wants to boast, let him boast of the Lord. It is not the man who commends himself that can be accepted, but the man who is commended by the Lord. I only wish you were able to tolerate a little foolishness from me, but of course you are tolerant towards me. You see, the jealousy I feel for you is God's own jealousy. I arranged for you to marry Christ so that I might give you away as a chaste virgin to this one husband. From Psalm 31 In your righteousness deliver me, incline your ear to me, and make haste to rescue me. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake lead me and guide me. Free me from the net they have set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, Lord, God of truth. I will rejoice and be glad in your mercy, once you have seen my misery and gotten to know the distress of my soul. My destiny is in your hands. Rescue me from my enemies, from the hands of my pursuers. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your mercy. Alleluia, Alleluia. This is the wise virgin from who the Lord found watching. She went in to the wedding feast with him when he came. Alleluia. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, The Wise and Foolish Virgins. Jesus told this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were sensible. The foolish ones did take their lamps, but they brought no oil whereas the sensible ones took flasks of oil as well as their lamps. The bridegroom was late, and they all grew drowsy and fell asleep. But at midnight there was a cry, The bridegroom is here, go out and meet him. At this all those bridesmaids woke up and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish ones said to the sensible, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. But they replied, There may not be enough for us and for you. You had better go to those who sell it and buy some for yourselves. They had gone off to buy it when the bridegroom arrived. Those who were ready went in with him to the wedding hall, and the door was closed. The other bridesmaids arrived later. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you solemnly, I do not know you, so stay awake, because you do not know the hour or the day. Praise be to you, O Lord Jesus Christ.